To understand why I believe we are able to create and influence serendipitous events, I would like you to consider that we live in a vibrational universe. You are a vibrational being whose cells and organs all pulsate at a particular frequency. Our brain pulsates with electromagnetic energy affected by our emotions, our health and our general state of well-being. Our body contracts and pulses at various rates, including your heartbeat, your stomach contracting, and the very act of breathing. Together, they make up you, a composite of frequencies, and so we each vibrate to our own personal tune. Disease, depression, negative behavior patterns, these are all symptoms of a body and mind being out of tune, quite literally. Not only do our bodies vibrate on a cellular level, these vibrations do not end with the skin, but instead continue out into space on a vibratory continuum, being connected by an energy field or a matrix of waves. I'd like you to rub your hands together really fast and then hold them a couple of millimetres away from each other. Can you feel a slight resistance? That is energy. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secret of the universe, you need to think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. If an energetic force is struck at the same resonant frequency as another object in a vicinity, the vibrations will cause the second object to begin vibrating. In terms of how you experience the world, the energy and vibration you give off is met and reflected back. We can feel this on an emotional level when we say that somebody's on our wavelength or we feel in tune with a personal situation. Why is this important? Well, if your internal vibration is one of anxiety, depression, anger, the life experience that you have may very well provide you with people and situations that reflect this back at you, thereby reinforcing the feeling and so creating a circuitous negative experience of life. It's a bit like tuning into different radio waves. Depending on what frequency you emit, will decide on what station you pick up. Therefore, if we can raise and enhance our internal vibration, we can create a situation that reflects back a more positive experience of life. So, how do we create that shift? Ancient teachings view of how the world is created is through sound. Whilst the truth of these views can be debated, what is clear from modern research, sound can at the very least affect matter. In the 18th century, Ernest Chladny put sand onto a glass plate and vibrated it with a violin, a violin bow. <laughs> the sand was pulled into creative and beautiful symmetric patterns. This work has been continued with the invention of the cymoscope by John Reed, who uses water as a surface membrane in which to imprint sound and create a digital representation of sound and vibration. In the following video clip, you will see the sound and vibration as represented on the cymoscope of a singing bowl, much like the one I have here. As you can hear, the bowl has rich and complex harmonics. Notice the symmetrical shapes and the similarities to those found in sacred geometry and within the harmonious shapes found in nature. 
Through the study of microcymatics and sonocytology, we are now able to hear the difference between a healthy and unhealthy cell. According to Gardner Snook of Manchester University, the difference between a healthy cell and a cancerous cell is like two very large orchestras all playing their instruments at the same time, but in the cancerous orchestra, the tuba is horribly out of tune. In the following two clips, you can hear the difference between the healthy pulsations of a yeast cell and the high-pitched frequency of one that is stressed. Notice the distortions as represented on the cymoscope of the one that is stressed. Through the latest experiments, experiments using microcymatics, it has been suggested that through the principle of entrainment, whereby a more powerful frequency causes a weaker frequency to synchronize with it, we can excite the, uh, the membrane of a cell into coherent uh, geometrical patterns. Therefore, if we direct harmonious sound towards our bodies, we are able to uh, bring ourselves into their own optimum frequency. Not only do we vibrate on a cellular level, our consciousness, our thoughts and emotions all have their own energetic imprint. Masaru Emoto in his book, The Secret Life of Water, exposed water to harmonious sounds, healing thoughts and prayer, as well as dissonant music and negative thoughts. He then froze the water and took photographs of the, uh, the water crystals. The water that had been exposed to the harmonious sounds and the healing thoughts and prayer created beautiful and geometric uh, water crystals and those that didn't were misshapen or not present at all. Many scientists and philosophers have pondered where does consciousness and our thoughts arise from? Whether you believe this is from a God-given source or from somewhere deep inside the brain, latest research has discovered that it is through our bodily responses to it, is in quantum vibrations found in microtubules within brain neurons. Therefore, as we have already found out, if by, by, um, by putting harmonious thoughts into our brains, we can turn our perceptions and our thoughts from chaos to beauty. We've all used music to calm and energize ourselves, whether it is dance music on a Saturday night or down-tempo jazz on a Sunday. Pachelbel's Canon was my go-to when in the throes of teenage angst. I have subsequently discovered that the perfect fifth harmonic as found in Baroque music, it's one of the most healing harmonic arrangements there is, being both expansive and stable. By creating a steady rhythm through the use of Baroque music, toning a single vowel, or through the use of a gong, a Himalayan bowl, or through a mother singing a lullaby to her child, a steady rhythm can be created it allows the mind to latch onto it, slow down and relax. The left and right hemispheres of the brain begin to resonate to a steady rhythm, bringing together the more linear left side with a more emotional and creative right. The subconscious and unconscious minds become aligned. Unresolved issues are released and you become more vibrationally coherent and increasingly powerful. When we say that somebody is charismatic, what we are feeling is their personal vibration. When this happens, life starts to flow and those serendipitous moments increase.